all right now in this lesson i'm going to show you how you can install a tensorflow and a flask as well as a k train on ec2 instance so the first of all i'm going to write here a pip install a flask so what it will do it will install a flask on my computer and it says that it is already installed in fact in in the anaconda and uh, then i need to type here a pip install ktrain do remember once you install this ktrain it will automatically install here your um, tensorflow so you don't need to install a tensorflow separately so the ktrain automatically install a tensorflow and currently you can see here very clearly that it is installing here a tensorflow 2.1 all right so the current version of ktrain supports only a tensorflow 2.1 that is why it is uh, installing tensorflow 2.1 all right so once these things are installed on our remote uh, on our remote pc then what i'm going to show you here i'm going to show you how you can create a sample a flask application and then i'll show you how you can access that flask application from your computer itself uh, the first i'll show you how you can access it from your local computer and then i'll show you how you can access it from a remote pc and uh, then you don't need to log into your ec2 instance you can directly uh, access it from your uh, remote computer that's mean the local computer all right so in this ktrain actually it takes some time so you need to leave it as it is after some time it will automatically install all the necessary libraries in fact it is almost uh, about to finish all the necessary libraries here the one thing you should also notice here it doesn't only install a tensorflow but in fact it install all other necessary libraries and packages which supports a ktrain all right perfect so this is only the one time process where it installs all the necessary packages all right now you can see here it is installed and it only not installed here uh, tensorflow but in fact it installed all other necessary libraries which is uh, necessary for a ktrain all right so this is the very good thing for a ktrain all right so once your ktrain is installed you will not directly get the access for your tensorflow since this is a very new machine on ec2 instance so there are a few more things which you need to first install on your machine to get it working so the first of all go ahead in internet explorer in internet option and there inside the security what i'm going to do here i'm going to in a custom level and do remember if it is enabled then disable it go in here a custom label and then i need to go here inside our uh, downloads all right enable this download once it is enabled then i'm going to click on okay all right and then finally i'm going to click on okay once it is done then uh, i'm going to download here a chrome browser otherwise it's always very difficult for me to work with internet explorer so i'm going to click on download now then click on this download although it might it might not download so what you need to do you need to restart your browser so again click on here and then here search chrome download all right there you get the access for this chrome download click on this chrome download still we are not getting that download option let me see why we are not getting it well so this download has been always a problem for a microsoft i don't know what are the you know the problem for a microsoft so let me first actually uh, do some more testing to get it download uh, let me close it and let me close it here all right so there manage add-ons let's see if any add-ons are enabled here no add-ons are enabled 
all right after performing previous task then you need to go here in internet explorer and uh, there i need to actually delete all of my uh, browsing history and other things so what i'm going to do here i'm going to actually all right so there you need to actually uh, turn off this pop up uh, blocker as well and uh, after that content let me see in the connection it is not there and in the advance do we have anything no in advance we don't have anything let me see uh, from where we can uh, disable it we can actually in general tab do we have any browsing history here yes so let's go ahead delete it actually delete everything here in fact uh, all other things okay tracking production etc all right then click on this delete option okay so it has delete everything click on okay and apply and uh, then again i'm gonna search here a chrome download so with the chrome download i'm gonna click okay and well even after that i'm not able to download it well rest in peace microsoft there is a lot of problem to download some other browser from microsoft so let's go ahead and try to download here a mozilla so what i'm going to do here i'm going to click on this mozilla.org then i'm going to click on a windows 64 bit you will get here an option to download it then you can click on this run and thereafter you will see here it will take just a little time to complete its installation now you can close your internet explorer forever all right close all tabs perfect so this is gonna just take a little more time to complete its installation perfect so installation is done here and mozilla is installed on this computer perfect now the first thing which we are gonna do here we are gonna search here microsoft visual c plus plus all right so microsoft visual all right c plus plus distribution actually all right so this is redistribution do remember this is not a visual code microsoft visual code but in fact this is a c plus plus all right so this is kind of a c compiler which we need to download because this is our a newly created machine on a ec2 instance you need to install here some uh, you know uh, some visual studio uh, this distribution which includes the c compiler i'm going to install it for 86 version so you need to click on this save file and then open it you can open it from here as well so it might take a little time to open it all right i agree to this one install it perfect so once again it is going to take some time to complete its installation now you can see its installation is successful now it is installed perfect once it is installed everything is done now what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna exit it here i'm gonna close it all right and once i close it again i'm gonna open here anaconda all right so this anaconda once it is opened then what i'm gonna do here uh, sorry i'm gonna write here a python and then again i'm gonna open a, just import here ktrain so once if ktrain is imported then all other libraries will be also imported all right so it is taking some time because there are a lot of uh, things which it uh, does in a background at a first import all right perfect perfect so this import is done that's mean our import for all other libraries are also successful 
Now you can check it here import tensorflow as tf you can also run it now you can type their version all right there you see a tensorflow 2.1 version is installed on our ec2 instance perfect now we have installed all the necessary libraries for our machine learning code now we are ready to go ahead to make some web server using a flask on our ec2 instance i'll see you in next lesson